Hello friends, welcome newcomers, thank you for joining. I am Agrippa. Let's play some more Stellaris. We are busy exploring the galaxy right now. We just found another system with two more ocean worlds that we can colonize. So we really do need to make it a priority to get some colony ships pumped out here. We just don't really have much of the mineral income to do that yet. It's still very early in the game. Unfortunately, our starting starting systems didn't have much in the way of minerals. Hostile fleet. Oh, are they? More space space things, space crystals. Oh, that there are actually Research a lot of them. Complete. Can we have them go explore in any other way? Yeah, we'll have them go go around here. I'll probably find some more aliens, knowing us, but we'll at least have it queued up. One of our leaders, science leaders, just gained another level. I think that's one of the ones we have attached to the ship. We completed a uh, fusion reactor, energy or physics research. So what do we want to do? We want plus 15% survey speed, along with gravatic sensors. We want deflectors. Or do we want plus 5 research speed? I think we want the research speed. That seems pretty good. Just a blanket benefit. I'm a big fan. Why is this going to take 49 months? Oh, well, we have greater modifiers to the other tech categories. Hmm. Um, you may notice the the video on my uh, on my game is a little bit choppy. I, I think that is due more to my computer and the fact that I'm both streaming and uh, recording this video right now. It's a little bit much for my older computer to handle. It's also not top of the line by any means, uh, so please don't take that to be an indication of the game. We were receiving a transmission from the Azir. They seem to have, they appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Uh, well met, friends. We, the, we are the Azirian Confederation of Planets. A nation built on the principles of peaceful coexistence and individual freedoms. Prime Minister Kaiger, the current head of our government, has expressed a sincere hope for a lasting friendship between our two peoples. Peace be with you, Azirians. Wow, so they are our neighbors. They are the ones down here. It's fine, because none of this territory had habitable planets for us. But it does block in our colonization that much further. Let's see. They are spiritual seekers. They are also pacifists. But they are fanatic spiritualists, whereas we are fanatic materialists. So I'm, yeah, they don't like us because we're materialist fools. Uh, let's go ahead and establish an embassy with them. Let's be friends with them. They can colonize tropical worlds, which is actually pretty good for us if we were to take them over. And the reason for that is tropical worlds are a fair bit removed from our ocean world colonization preference. Huh. Interesting. Well, I wonder if they'll, if they'll be our friends, since we're both pacifists. If not, we won't really have to worry about them, I don't think. Huh. We'll see. Cool bird folks, too. Alright, back to the game. We're getting a little squished in here. Complete. That was on our home planet. That was that other energy mine that we had wanted to build. Nobody's working that currently, although this this population is still growing. System uh. survey complete. Anomaly found. Failure risk 55%. No, leave B for now. Where's that dube? Dube 10. I'm gonna take this guy off to the three minerals and put him on the five energy. So we need more energy than we... Well, just because we were running a deficit. And once that pop gets fully grown, he'll work that tile. So that's fine for us. Tikim has been fully surveyed. Where is that? Oh, right there. If we want to do Krant, let's go ahead and do Krant. For the sake of it. Survey system. Oh, we found more ocean worlds. This is the way we want to expand, really. I'm gonna queue up. 
queue up some system surveys here. Evading hostile fleet. Oops. What is that? Gas cloud of some sort? Huh. Can't explore that way. How about around this way? about that? We're heading towards the galactic core, I guess. Our construction ship is also idle again, but we don't really have anything we can... There, that I want to build. I want to focus on just energy and mineral income right now. So we don't, sadly, have a lot of... That's that anomaly. Do we want to plan out any more buildings in our future? We still don't, you know, just need more population on our planet before we can justify building some more buildings. That's okay. We'll just wait for some system surveys to complete. Let's go ahead and follow one of these science ships around. Dube. Dube system. It's, uh, two habitable planets for us. Really nice. What size are these? Did I already check it out? I think I did. 14 and 10. Yeah. Again, not ideal. Fair amount of tile hostile blockers, too. Detected. Evading hostile Revic system? We're just getting chased out of every system we want to go to. Let's go this way, then. We'll just we need a stronger fleet to be able to confront some of these some of these enemies. Do they follow us? No, but we're heading somewhere else. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and there are those are the Epsilon aliens. Who are they? Space Space cows, space amoebas, space something. Neutral creatures. I want to try to cut these this empire off, but I have to go all the way around this galactic arm. That might take us a while, especially with aliens in this system. Yeah, we just gotta wait for our mineral income to improve here. There's not much else we can do at the moment. We we really should just be patient, though. We really want to save up for a colony ship or something along that line. We can just take in the vast beauty of this unknown galaxy as we venture out into the stars. It really is just so cool. I love how the hyperlanes look too between all these stars. It really reminds me of that EVE Online galaxy. Oh, and we found some more hostile aliens. Alien space station. That looks like a uh, like an Empire space station to me. We might have found another alien civilization over here. Potentially. It looks like we're trapped in by hostile aliens, unless we can try to... Uh, I want to select my military fleet. So we can try to go this way. Which I don't think we are able to do before, but maybe something changed. And we could always try to ask these guys for military access. If they do that. Uh, border access. Military access. Oh, do I also have... How do I... How do I get that from them? 
Can I not trade with them right now? Or is there supposed to be another side to this? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what that looks like. It's my construction ship, just chilling there. Why am I? Am I? Yeah, I haven't even finished the tech for construction ships yet. My tech speed is kind of slow. Uh, and one of our other scientists has leveled up. I think that was one of our researchers. Yep, yeah, this guy here. Oh, and I found another hostile fleet. We might have to build some more ships so that we can explore more. Ooh! There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Failure rate of 15%. I like that. Go ahead and research. And that was another uh, system with an ocean world. How large is it? 23! That's really, really good! We want to make that system a priority to colonize, too. We've got uh, Ariga, Diub with Ocean Worlds. We have a couple more in Pothria and in Shrudma. So I think our empire is just going to look like a little crescent here, if we have anything to say about it. We'll probably have to colonize uh, Shrudma first, though, just to, to harvest these uh, minerals and the energy resources here. Maybe, maybe even that social science. Although it's so close to our borders, I, it'd be nice if our borders could just expand a little bit further. I'm not sure what all determines that. Okay, the First League. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Auriga 6 or 4A. If what we have learned from these artifacts is correct, the civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League, and appear to have coexisted in relative peace some two million years ago. Though the Auriga system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory, a partial map found among the artifacts indicates that this First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse. Interesting. Situation log updated. So let's go here. Uh, first League survey. So we have to find six relics from the first league. Does it tell us? Does it give it, give us any indication of the systems that they were in? No, not necessarily. We still haven't finished our habitable world survey. We need to do that. Hmm. Yeah, we need to go to Kant because there's habitable worlds there. might also want to survey the territory over here, in case we decide to build any frontier outposts, outposts or something like that. And our science ships are both busy surveying away. And our military fleet is trapped from expanding, because they're exploring anymore. I believe. Yeah. Well, why don't we have them go back to the capital? Maybe we'll refit them with new, with some of our new technology. I think we're researching armor right now. Yeah. So once we once we do that, we'll put armor on the ships, new reactors, maybe build a couple more new ships, and have them confront some of these alien menaces. We're also really close to being done with our colony ship tech, which would just be so nice really nice to get that out and start claiming some of these other other territories. Do you system survey complete? One of these is better for that one. Two four. What system did we just survey? Oh, do you? Okay. Let's have you guy. Gotta go there. Cue those two up. 
I'll queue this guy up to do those two systems. Riga's got some minerals in it, which is nice. System survey complete. Uh, Riga system has been fully surveyed. Excellent. Research complete. You should be moving to the next one. Yep, you are. And we just finished our colony ship tech. Excellent. What do we want to do? Biolab? More social research? More naval capacity? Or more monthly influence and propaganda broadcasts? I want the more monthly influence. In fact, we might want to go ahead and see if there are any more edicts, maybe empire-wide edicts, that we want to put in place. Information quarantine, minus 10 ethics divergence, not a problem for us yet. Plus 15 ethics divergence, but plus 10 research speed, we might want to do that. Or a specific focus is on each of the three, each of the three technologies. Uh, I think we should go ahead and do the encourage free thought, blanket plus 10 to research right now. We're still gaining a fair amount of influence, um, and these have reduced cost, which is really nice for us. Another one of our scientist explorers has leveled up. I think that makes them survey faster. And then they also research faster if we switch them over to one of the research slots. Construction time, planetary governor, he's fine. So the question now is do we want to build our colony ship right away? How much does it cost? 350 minerals, so it would use up all of our minerals, but we can't... There really isn't another source of minerals for us right now. So we'd be investing in the long term. I think we should. Uh, I really think we should. Let's go ahead and do that. A lot of people uh, kind of freak out over the energy cost of setting up a new colony, but it only is um, minus 8 energy for about 12 months, which is about 100 energy, which we have in our reserves, and we have enough income to, to be okay on that. We won't be getting a lot of energy by any means, but it's enough to colonize another planet without any concerns. And I, I won't redesign our ships just yet. We'll wait for the armor and some of the other cool things. We'll speed it up a little, see how it runs. I actually haven't done that yet. I think it's already straining my computer a little bit, doing all of the streaming and recording and playing of games. I also think about building another research station, maybe for this physics research. But no, no, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna save up for uh, increasing my mineral or energy income. There's, is there anything I can trade with you guys? Or can I not trade while they dislike me? Not sure. System survey complete. I guarantee their independence. Might want to do that. Make them like me, might like me a little bit more. Ooh, and this system has seven minerals, which is really good. Definitely want to put mining stations there once, once I have that within border range. And I will once I colonize one or both of these two systems. I don't think fast is actually running that much faster for me. Maybe it is. Oxamon. Is this within their borders? This system is not. Survey that and build a little outpost there. Looks like they might have expanded a little bit over here, maybe colonized another world. Ooh, atmosphere greetings from Revic 3 do not match simulated projections. Failure risk of 12. Let's do it. Let's research it. Let's find out the mystery of Revic 3. Feldvizier system is fully surveyed. We do still have this one anomaly here, the failure risk of 30%. It's fairly, fairly high. Maybe we can get, um, maybe we can get uh, one of our scientists to level up first. I wonder if there's, how can we see their experience? Uh, we go to Empire. Here they are. 
Hostile fleet detected. Epic three. Evading hostile gotcha. fleet. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Revic 3's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science offer Alarig is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate, elaborate shadow casting might serve. Plus the sixth Social research? That's a ton! Alright, you need to get out of the system right now. There are a hostile fleet there, right? Yeah, they did. Oh no, that was in... that was in Ossic. That was in a different system. Getting fleet detected. Back. Need to finish surveying some of these systems, man. I should go back and check to see if hostile fleets are still there, because they might they might have moved system on. Some of these complete. alien creatures uh, migrate between different systems. Let's go ahead and try that. As the Ossic is now empty of those alien ships. Oh, actually, the fleet. Oh, those are neutral. Yeah, well, that one still had aliens in it. Where do I go to survey? Go to Cran. Evading hostile fleet. Oh gosh, where is that? Oh, that was with my military fleet. Gosh, yeah, see, I can hardly expand anywhere. I am building my colony ship, right? Does it just take a long time? Oh, yeah, there, there we go. So I'm going to send him first to the Dube system, I believe. We'll go to Dube 4. And we'll colonize right there. Anomaly found. 15% failure risk. 14S619 is home to a number of exquisite impact craters. However, something breaks the visual uniformity in one of the larger craters. Then research it, by all means. Uh, why are we losing so much energy now? Ship maintenance minus twelve. Hostile fleet detected. Not sure why. Maybe that's our colony ship, although we're not even on the, that planet yet. Oh, they're fine. One of our scientists leveled up, but he's one of the researchers, not one of the guys we want to uh, to have do that hard anomaly. Can we do any more edicts on this planet? Capacity overload plus 15 energy credits. Oh, abandoned thrusting. In the center of a particularly large crater on 14S619 lies a cluster of metal shapes, doubtless, doubtlessly of alien origin. Science officer Gethmar is convinced that they are massive, planetoid mountable propulsion devices intended to push 14S619 from its orbit. For purposes and destinations unknown. Lyrgosk is on standby, its crew ready to begin disassembly and analysis of the alleged propulsion systems, with the hopes of improving our own thruster technology. Aren't we researching ion thrusters? No, we're not. Make it so, that's fantastic. Research complete. Just gained ion thrusters. That's great. Cool. We we have that option, but we can actually do it. And with that, we're going to take a short break here, put a cut in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.